Hey guys, Deidre Behar here, and I am standing next to the Iron Throne. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be here at the season three premiere of Game of Thrones. We're chatting with the entire cast, getting a scoop on what is gonna be different this season. Take a look. So congrats on season three. I think people are, are so stoked on it. Is it gonna be the biggest, most baddest season of Game of Thrones yet? Yes. yes. Tell me why. Um, I think it's each season, we got to compete with the last season. And the first season was really good, and then I preferred the second season, it seems a lot of people did as well. And now we've got to step it up or not. So it's the third season, and so how are you going to do that? They spent more money. They've, um, yeah, they've, um, the CGI elements in it are going to blow people's minds. I think they're better than anything I've seen in the movies. really? Yeah, and if you're going to create a fantasy and you're going to make fantastical creatures and you're going to ask someone to believe in it and invest in it, you have to make those creatures look real, and the dragons are pretty impressive. Yeah. She starts season three um, in solitary confinement. Um, she's she released Jamie Lannister at the at the end of season two and humiliated and undermined her son, who is the king, and basically. So she is in solitary confinement uh, in chains and she has destroyed her relationship with her son and the fact that her children are all dispersed over the over Westeros and the one person she has left and close to is her is Rob and yet there is no communication it's heartbreaking so she spends a lot of her time very reflective uh, um, about her actions past. Jamie and Brienne have kind of uh an interesting time throughout book number three. What can you kind of tease about their relationship and what's going to be going on? Well, they they carry on from where we left off. Um, uh, still on the way back to King's Landing. Jamie can't wait to get back. Um, he's he's uh, he's fed up with this woman being in charge. Um, so he's trying to get out of that situation, and 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 that's kind of all I can say. Some people think that she's part ice queen, but kind of part like repressed kind of lady. What side of Cersei are we gonna see uh, more this season? Um, well, you know, underneath the layer of her shell, she, she's really vulnerable, and she's really frightened, and she's really angry, and. Uh, you know, Jamie's been gone, so that side of her has been gone. Um, and she's having to deal with her father, who, you know, they don't have the greatest relationship. And Marjorie. I love my character and I see no fault in her. So when people come up to me and they're like, I hate your character, I'm like, okay, let me tell you why I like her. Uh, yeah. Well, tell me why you like her. Okay, I like her because she's so realistic and if you were a 13 year old going into like exactly the same situation, you would make exactly the same decisions that she does. I, I see the logic in every single one of her decisions. And no matter how many times people tell you that she's the one who got her father killed, she's not because she persuaded the king to not allow her father to be killed and he said okay and uh, it was the king's fault it was joffrey seriously guys everything on joffrey that's what i do you know blame it all on joffrey now now your character's gotten a little more intense a little more aggressive throughout the seasons is that fun for you to kind of dig deeper yeah i think there's uh kind of a storm maybe happening in her head a little bit and she's uh, it's not healthy for someone so young to be seeing the things she's seeing and doing the things she's doing. Um, she's on her own in this uh, crazy world and it, yeah, that can't be good for anyone, let alone like a 12 year old girl and it's going to affect anyone. So yeah, it's, it's not healthy where she's heading. This is a role that you are just so revered for and people really respond to the fans across the board to say Tyrion is my favorite. Personally, why is playing him so rewarding and what do you take away at the end of the day from this role? Hmm. Um. Well, he's a very intelligent person, so it's always good. It's always fun and challenging to play someone, dare I say, more intelligent than yourself. Um, so that is, I look forward to. The, uh, we haven't gotten any of the scripts yet for this upcoming season that we're about to shoot, and it says a lot that I cannot wait to read them. 
I read them voraciously as soon as I get them. Really? And that's not always the case with every script that comes through the door. Tell me about your relationship with Ygritte on the show. Where are we going to see that throughout season three? Yeah, so um, we have to see whether it is a romance. I mean, it's already there's 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 like bubbling kind of sexual chemistry, and and we were we kind of wanted to get that so that so that there's the will, will they won't they thing. And I suppose that's what we're setting up. But you have to see if John wimps out or not, because obviously he's got Will his, he? he's got his vows. You know, he's, he's an honourable man. And he made a vow not to take a wife or get with a woman, and um, and honourable was stupid. And I love that she's kind of a hopeless romantic. Do you think she's going to maybe get her happily ever after ever? I would love to see her get yeah. married for true love. Yes. But uh, in the world of Game of Thrones, that doesn't seem entirely likely. <laughs> I don't think anyone is going to marry Sansa for love, and she's not going to marry anyone for love. Um, and I think that she's kind of lost that hopeless romantic feel now. She's, yeah, her, her hopes were crushed after Joffrey was a total douchebag. If you could see your character do something, tackle something on the show, is there something that you personally you would love to see? I would like... I hope that he gets to um, have a little talk with his uh, son about about the mess <laughs> he's, he's created. Him. Yeah. And how would you how would you discipline him? I would just take his crown away from him, and I would lock him in a dark room, and I would throw away the key. Show him who's boss. Exactly. So you guys have to make sure you're plugged into Season 3 of Game of Thrones. You can check it out on Sunday, March 31st at 9 p.m., of course, on HBO. I'm Deidre Behar. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Do you hear them screaming, crying for their gods? Uh, siblings in real life like Cersei and Jamie. How do you how do you think you discipline them? <laughs> how would you deal with that? I think I would probably run away from home. Really? That bad? I would I wouldn't discipline. I would pack a bag, my little hobo bag and get on a get on a freight train. Get out of town. Yeah, no, I couldn't be around that family. Mm -hmm.